I'd never really seen anything like that before. And, uh, you know, using HDR, it's, you know, it's one of those things where I think for a filmmaker seeing it for the first time, it's eye-popping to see the, the, the level of detail that you can get in there and, and how you can use that tool to evoke emotion. I mean, that's all we're really trying to do. You know, storytelling, you know, from sitting around a campfire to being in, in an amphitheater in ancient Greece or being in the Globe in Shakespeare's London or being in a movie theater, it's all telling stories. It's all trying to kindle the imagination of the audience or to get them to think or to get them to feel something. And using, you know, tools like HDR, it, it's just another tool in the filmmaker's disposal that they can use to evoke that emotion, sound, color, this, this new, these new technologies. So for a film, filmmaker, it's exciting. And for an audience member, it's just another opportunity to engage meaningfully with the story. It's, uh, you know, I love these tools and I can't wait to, to use them down the road. To work with, you know, an incredible artist like Mike and with the tools that you guys have at your disposal, uh, it just got me to see the film in a different way. And I think that the, the film that we have now that we're finished with this process is, is, is far better than I could have ever imagined. Even a handful of weeks ago, going through and really refining the ultimate look of the movie, it, it happens here in, you know, in these suites. And uh, it, it really does add a new layer of, of storytelling and emotion to the whole thing. Even though effectively the story's already been told, this is a, just yet another way of bringing the audience and bringing the emotion to the audience.